Hello, everyone. Um, we are continuing with um, algebra review or test review, unit four test review. So the question says solve the equation. Solve this equation. But remember, there is a matrix here. It's a matrix equation. And uh, nobody is telling you that it contains a matrix. So you should be able to uh, identify that this is an equation con containing matrix. So, and this is a, a two by two determinant. In other words, you should be able to evaluate the determinant before you solve the equation. So let's start here. So we evaluate this determinant uh, 2x multiply x, um, 2x multiply x, and we have 2x squared, 2x squared. And uh, with the other one is x multiply negative, negative one. There should be a negative there already. So it's going to be plus x. And the value of the determinant is given to us. We are given that the value of the determinant is 10. Okay, so we can see a quadratic equation. So we can now solve this quadratic equation for x. All right. And because it's quadratic, we are going to have two values, two zeros, um, which means we have to test the zeros and make sure that they're all uh, the zeros all work because there is only one determinant given to us. All right, so let's write this quadratic equation in its uh, standard form. Then solve. So we're writing the quadratic equation in standard form. All right. So the next thing is, uh, can we solve this by a factorization method? If we cannot, then we solve it by, uh, by the formula, quadratic formula. So let's see. 2 multiply negative 20. Yeah, negative 10 is negative 20. So it can be solved by, uh, yes, it can be solved by factorization. So I like writing all of them. In and grouping, so I have 2x squared plus 5x because 5x multiply 5 times uh, 4 is 20 plus 5 minus 4 is plus 1, so 5x minus 4x. I like grouping, by the way. That's why I'm using grouping. It's better. Now that I have found the factors of uh, the middle uh, term, the linear term, I want to group. I want to see if uh, something can be factored out here. Can something be factored out here? Yes, X can factor out. Can something be factored out here? Yes, two can factor out. So let's continue. So now I have two factors out of the first group. And then I have x squared. Well, uh, not generally two, but I'm just going x factors out, not two. So x factors out, so I have 2x remaining plus 5 in the first group. Now, in the second group, negative 2 factors out. So I have 2x plus 5 remaining because I factored negative out. Or to zero. All right, so let's see the terms in the parentheses, the binomial in the parentheses are equal. 
Therefore, factorization is working. So we continue to simplify and find these two zeros. The two zeros are the values of x. So the first zero is going to be taken from this factor, x minus two. And the second zero will be taken from two x plus five by zero product property. If these two multiply to be zero, then either the first one is zero or the second one is zero. Okay, so from the two factors by zero product property, I see that the first zero is x equal to two from here, from this one, from this one, x equal to negative five over two, negative five over two or two and a half. I can leave it at negative five over two. So there are two factors. Well, we found the factors of, we found uh, the values of x because it's a quadratic. Well, the, do they all give us that determinant? So let's go and check. I'm gonna go back to check and see if there is an extraneous solution. Is there an extraneous solution? Okay, so we want to, uh, first of all, put two in there. I want to see if two is an extraneous solution. So two times uh, two here is four, two minus one and two. So let's evaluate this determinant here. Four times two is eight. 8 minus minus 2 is uh, 10. So two checks, therefore two checks. In other words, this answer checks. First answer checks. X is equal to two checks. All right. So we're going to check the other one. 5 over 2. So it's 5 over 2. Give us, uh, is it going to give us the same thing? So we will put in 5 over 2 here. Wherever we see x with 5 over 2. So let me clean a little bit, right hand side, so we can. So this time we are testing the second solution because we want to see if there's an extraneous solution. If it doesn't check, then it means that that solution is extraneous. So be careful. Uh, some solutions you have might not check, so you have to make sure you check them out. So now I want to substitute uh, negative 5 over 2 for the value of x. Okay, so now I'm going to put it in the... the it, So two multiply negative five over two, I have, actually I have five here, two multiply negative five over two, two cancel two. So I got negative five there. And this one is negative five over two. And this one is negative five over two. This is negative one. So the question now is, uh, this is five. This is going to give us five here. So we have only five here. Let's just write it out. Five, negative five. Negative five over two. Negative one. Negative five over two. So we are checking our solutions without calculator. Okay, so let's go back and pull that up. So we want to see if negative 5 over 2 is an extraneous solution. So if we multiply across, we have 
negative 5 multiply negative 5 over 2. I actually have 25 over 2 positive. 25 over 2. All right, this is negative, negative. So my answer is still going to be negative. Negative one multiply negative five over two. That is a negative, that should be a negative there already. So that is still going to give me a uh, negative five over two. All right, so 25 over two minus five over two. So that's already a common denominator, which means I can write 25 minus five, all divided by two. And that is the same as five here, five. Okay, so 20 divided by two is 10. So both answers check actually. So both answers check. So x is equal to negative 5 over 2 is also a solution. So there is no extraneous solution. There is no extraneous solution. Very good. So there is no extraneous solution for this question. Okay. All right, so um, this is uh, an example of an equation containing uh, an equation containing a determinant of a matrix, and you're told to solve for x. Another way of uh, asking you if you know how to evaluate the determinant of a matrix. So you must remember how to evaluate the determinant of a matrix. All right, so um, 